Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Seven Mile Radio. Well, it's Wednesday night. Once again, we're in the building. What's up, everybody? What up? What up? What up, what up though? We bringing it to you live from Seven Mile Radio. This is Truth Podcast, and we got Mark. Penelope, Rico, Re in the building, Dave, Mike, and myself, D Matt. We talking about STDs and relationships. But before we get into all of that, mm-hmm. let's talk about it. Let's see how everybody's week has been. What's up, everybody? What's up, y'all? Mike. How your week been, Mark? Oh uh, shit, you know me, same old shit, different toilet, another mm-hmm. fucking week in Gotham. I need the sound <laughs> effects with that when you say that. Yeah. I'm right. looking forward to that. Because it ain't right. The toilet yeah. flush. Yeah. Yeah. Can we the get the toilet flush? Yeah. 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 We had that. Same old shit. We look forward to that. All right. Yep. Same old shit. Different toilet. You know what I mean? Another week in Gotham. I did not save any kids. No houses blew up. (laughs) (laughs) I did not save any kids. Oh, no. But he definitely uh, survived... uh, Afghanistan. Oh, no, at I, the survived, Coney Island. I survived the Hood Rat Olympics. Uh, the Hood, <laughs> the hood, rat, rat, Olympics. hood rat UFC. That nigga uh, was in the desert. Yeah, I missed that. What you happened? didn't see that shit. Oh, well, Facebook oh took the God. video down because oh, they, they yeah they took it down because they said I was inciting. It was inciting violence. Oh wow! Wow. I have to do like school. I got a question. I got an answer. <laughs> what is the Afghanistan Stop. Hood Rat Olympics? I need to know what that uh, is. So I just uh, tried to go to. The Local Coney Island here for uh, a chicken oh, pita. Oh, you just wanted to pita. pita. I, I seen they was pita. in there like I gangsters. Oh, that one that was my pita. Uh-huh. <laughs> chicken pita with no tomatoes, please. <laughs> mm. And yes. some fries, maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. But I ended up uh, running into, like I said, Hood Rat Hood UFC. Rat and, uh, fucking, uh, and you know what? Fun fact, right? I got the video from the clerk who got jumped. Oh, you got the, the video? surveillance of the, the, what the, the before, before the before yeah, yeah. what called oh, wow. you got in there I, after, I got the the fight, aftermath. after they jumped yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah 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 mm-hmm. so now mm-hmm. I got that so I'll be going live now fun fact I'm thinking about actually interviewing them both because you know I see the, the live afterwards that I got home right. and the girl who was like was cussing me out and all of that shit she jumped on my live I let her on and, Mark was and, like bitch don't touch my phone bitch I'll knock your ass up yeah yeah no, I mean don't don't do don't I'm do like, that I mean, cause she talking all crazy and shit. You know what I mean? Go get some pussy and shit. Like, how you know I just got some, bitch? How about how about that, bitch? Hey y'all, hey, she was talking rough. She was talking rough. Hey, hey, aggressive. So these, these, <laughs> hang on, yeah, 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 these little hood red ass chicks and shit. You know, and, and like the thing about it is, you slapping a, a, the phone out of a hand of a man who is a CPL holder who's holding his pistol and shit. Like, if I was the wrong kind of nigga. Yeah, right. you warned her. She heated. She took. She took heat. How was your week, we Penelope? Out. My week was good. How? Oh, my week was good. My daughter had a bomb ass thirteenth birthday party. Happy this birthday, birthday, Sunday. Sunday. Happy birthday. Hey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey. Yes, my baby. Thirteen years old. It's such. It's so exciting to see my baby grow. Um, it's such a pleasure to be her mommy. I've been in this thing for 13 years, y'all. I kind of feel like I'm an OG now. <laughs> right. But I do want to say thank you for everybody who participated, who came out, shouted us out, stopped through, sent money, a hug, a wave, anything. I appreciate y'all. My week has been great. Today, I took my son to the Science Center. We had a good time there. So this week has been great. Thank you, too. It's been a quality time. What's your week, Mike? Mike. You know, hey, tough times don't last. Tough people do, right? Okay. You, Everything works out. You, you, no, but you know, you know. So yeah. hopefully we can have a topic on it once I, mm-hmm. you know, get all this settled. But you know, I, like I'm here with you, beautiful no. people, and that's all that matters. So okay. let's yes, have sir. a great yes, show. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. What's up, Dave? How was your week, my boy? Mars was good. I went to actually go see the Rick James musical on last Thursday. I'm Rick James, bitch. I'm that Rick was James. crazy. They had a scene where they had somebody playing Charlie Murphy, and Rick slapped the dog taste out of his mouth. Hi, there we go. And uh, shout out to my wife. Her birthday is this Friday. Happy birthday, Miss Birdman. Happy birthday. Happy, birthday. Happy early birthday. Birdman. Yeah, so I got I got a lot of stuff planned for her, so she's going to um, the wine trolley downtown. That's uh-huh. fun. That's okay. fun. So her and her friends, I'm paying for them. 
to uh they gonna ride around the city and get drunk. My oh, mom does that it? around Christmas time with her and her buddies. I heard it's pretty fun. It is. Okay. Mac, that's on our to do list. Let's get it. Let's do it. As soon as the weather break, I'm with it. Oh yeah. And I'm about to have the big inflatable nightclub in my fucking backyard. As soon as it get nice and warm, <laughs> about to party in the backyard, rain, sleet, or snow. We I going know in. That's right. All right now. But anywho, my mm-hmm. week was good. Um. <clears throat> Worked with the babies one more time for the one time we had a, we had a, we had a time with models this week, but they came through. I appreciate all our models that come through encouraging these young people. So I appreciate that. But we we've had a good week. So Big ups to the models yeah. for supporting the babies. And then the new building, right? Or well, we working, we working. We okay. Working. Yeah, I seen I the post the about yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. We working, okay. we working, we working. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I you know, I, I'll, I'll let everybody know what's happening. Okay. All right. Please do. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, all is well. Rita Reed, we got a special guest in the field. Special field's. guest. Yeah. Yeah, we've been waiting on this. Rita one of our, is one of our, our yeah. faithful yes. viewers. Yes. She calls in faithfully. She has valuable input into every yes. conversation that she Thank in, y'all. encounters. And when we say faithful, we mean faithful. faithful. If she don't call in, she she is she doing every show. She sets her yes. to From day one. Exactly. Podcast. So I want to thank y'all that. for inviting me to y'all Absolutely. home. This is y'all home, and I hope when I we get finished, we have give our viewers a uh, very uh, valuable information that will help them. So again, right. thank y'all. And yeah. this topic that we have tonight, STDs and relationships, um, and we wanted to have somebody with some medical background, so we just not going off Google, and we just not coming off the cuff with it. We wanted to have some validity to what we are saying tonight. And so, uh, what, so let me ask y'all, everybody on this panel, before we get into the statistics and the the details, the prevention and the management um, and the risks, um, would you, if somebody, Mark, if you, you feeling, you feeling a chick, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Y'all go out on dates and y'all doing it kind of like old fashioned style, like we ain't gonna have no sex for a little while, first 90 days, 60 days, whatever the limitation is. And then you feeling her, you feeling mm-hmm. her, everything about her, right? right? And then y'all get to the point where, okay, shit's getting hot and heated. Mm-hmm. Okay, baby, hold on, I gotta, I gotta talk to you. Mm-hmm. I just wanna let you know, I got herpes. Mm-hmm. What's your next move? Well, actually, fun fact, that actually happened to me. Mm-hmm. That exact thing, right? But it was mm-hmm. a little more accelerated as far as it wasn't a 90-day thing. It was just a chick that I was feeling. She was feeling me. Mm-hmm. was talking shit, talking crazy, mm-hmm. right? And she was honest and told me, like, and, yeah, I was like, well, you know what? I respect the fuck out of you for that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? With all, with, all of the, with all of the shit that was said and, you know what I mean? And it's like, no, nah, can't, we can't do that. Of course we can't. And so. you said, of course we can't. Why? Well, no, I didn't say I didn't say that to In her like head, that. In your head, though, yeah, you, yeah. Well, you said that to yourself, but of course you can't. Why? Yeah, I mean, because it's you know, if I, if I know that, and I know the the thing is, you know, people gonna say, well, you know, what's the difference if uh, somebody didn't say that? You wouldn't know right, the difference. Right. So yeah, I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't. I didn't. Mm-hmm. And and she, I didn't really give a reason. I don't think I had to. Right. You know, she, How did she respond to your denial? She she no, she, she, she respected, respected it. it. Yeah, Absolutely. and we were still friends yeah. afterwards. Yeah. And she, you know what I mean? If I seen her today, we'd probably still be cool and talk yeah. shit just like we did. But you know, it wasn't. I don't you know. think it's a few people saying that they can't hear us. Can you? Can y'all hear us? Turn volume up, Mom. Yeah, yeah turn the last few times. Pump up the volume. Keep saying, turn the volume up. All right. Um. So what about you, Dave? Before pre-marriage. Let me, let me ask y'all men a question. Okay. Because, you know, y'all can get it two ways. And, and so can women. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, do you, before you got married and before, let's say you, Mike's been single, so it still applies. Do you ask women when they last tested and what their test results were? I actually, like, leading up to me getting married, yes. Because had a friend that uh, was in a similar situation, and what happened was he was dating somebody, and, you know, he will always be like, well, every time we in the mood, she's like shooing 
me away. So he's thinking like, okay, she don't feel me like that. Mm -hmm. So she told him about she had herpes, but mm -hmm. the way she got it was she had got raped mm. and had got passed on. So I think in the times, the circumstances, because she was truthful with him, mm -hmm. and they are still together today. But, you know, they I think they had the conversation of where, okay, what precautions do I need to take to make sure I have it? If you're really in tune with this person. So it can't, I, I can understand from Mark, because it was just like, okay, we just met. But yeah, if you're in a serious, exactly. Yeah. But if you're in a serious relationship with that person, I mean, you have to go into it more. How did you get it? How are you treating it? Well, damn, what I, you, I, would, I, would, I would raise the question of how did you get into a serious relationship with this person without having that conversation beforehand? Like, you waited yeah. until you got into the serious relationship. Like, to, do really do people have and, that conversation? I, that, I, was, I, was, I, was, I really think no. everybody no. wants yeah. to make it yeah. seem yeah. like, because yeah. we post, yeah. like, ask the question. Yeah. We got to have these conversations. Yeah. conversations. It's responsible. But are we really having it? Right. Like, so, right. Listen, wait, exactly. Are we really? Really have the, the, right. Me and my the friends we had this conversation just like a week ago. Me being in the medical field, I without directly asking you a conversation about have you been tested, I asked, do you even have a my chart? Mm. If you don't know what a my chart is, I don't really. Right. I'm like you. You don't take care of your health mm. because a lot of things are like trying to now and right. keep track and all your doctors yeah. put everything on one file. So mm. if you don't know what a my chart is, that's a hint, hint to me. You're not taking care of your health. Mm. That's just my opinion. That's a good point yep. to see, make. See, she's in healthcare, so exactly. she know the questions to ask. Exactly. I'll just be like, when the last time you was tested? Exactly. So, Rita, I got a question for you. For those of our listeners that don't know what a my chart is, can you go into that a little bit and explain? Um, a my chart is a file that once you get a primary doctor, mm -hmm. um, a primary doctor goes over your whole bill of health. Once you... Uh, Go see your primary doctor. He sets up your exams and everything. Everything is like an electronic file from mm. your testing to your uh, results mm -hmm. to questions to messaging to your medication to everything. If you have a question, most people think you got to go to the doctor. If you have a good doctor and everything's in a, a legitimate hospital, I'm not talking about the hospitals on the corner, y'all. Right. I'm talking about legitimate hospitals. Yeah. Right. You can message your doctor and they should get back with you in 24 to 48 hours. All right. You could get test results. They can even Blood save results. you. Got, they can even save you a trip mm -hmm. to going to the office mm -hmm. and they can even send it over to the uh, to the laboratory and all you got to do is just show up and get tested or do any any of the business you got to handle that's a big lifesaver for a lot of people everybody don't have time to go to the doctor's office right you know penelope anybody ever told you they had that shit no i've not that has never that never came to me but what i can say is that like listening to y'all stories i appreciate the people that are honest about it mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Exactly. That was, that's what, what yeah. i was gonna say about mark like well you know even though you decided not to flow with that person that's cool I appreciate the honesty. Now, has if it ever was to arise right now, my 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 answer would be no. And mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's being shallow. I'm just keeping it real. Me. Does it matter what the STD is, if it's curable or incurable? Yeah, it matters. It matters. It matters. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say it definitely. No, I keep it real because mm -hmm. can you get rid of it? Right. <laughs> what I'm saying. Before like, like, you give it yeah, to me, my exactly. Nigga. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. keep it real. Yeah, it, that it, part. Is it curable? Mm -hmm. But just, am I gonna enter it knowing? I'm, I'm going to just say no, but I appreciate the honesty because a lot of people go into these situations and they're not honest with people. They don't Feel give it. people the option on whether or not they want to go further. Do I want to in institute all of these extra special protective measures just to be intimate with Because what you don't because know you is to, right? it may be, you never know who you're dealing with. You may be dealing with a person who has also been in that situation before. They didn't been in that area, so they already know what type of headspace you in, and they probably know how to address it a different way. So I feel like no. The answer for me right now would be no. I'm gonna throw a situation out to you guys uh, based off Mr. Berman. Um, it was a young lady that had AIDS. She was a activist. Her name is Hadina Board Bent. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing her uh, mm -hmm. name. She died at 39 recently. She was on the Oprah show in 1980, yeah. the Murray Purvis show, Good Morning America. Now, she had AIDS, mm. but she got them 
through and from her mother because her mother was an active drug child abuse. Birth. No, drug drug abuser. Did she oh, get it through childbirth? Yeah, childbirth. Yeah, yeah childbirth. Yeah. So that is the same. I look at that as the same as being raped. Mm-hmm. Or getting it passed through your parents, she didn't she have didn't a choice. Anything. She didn't do right. anything so to deserve to exactly. exactly. So I think all cases are different. I'm like Penelope and the rest of you. Most of the time, I would tell somebody no. But me reviewing this, coming in to see you guys, made me look at things different. If somebody didn't do anything, it wasn't promiscuous, and they got it, and they couldn't help it being right. a rape victim or being born being with, born it. with yeah. it. How could they well, he- help well, that? Because you, it, it you can get certain STDs through the birth canal. Correct, yeah. correct. And it has nothing to do with exactly. what well, it's not about. It's not about done. shaming them or like or that, that wouldn't even really make me reconsider my answer. Right. I mean, because the fact that you was born with it don't change the fact that I don't want what you was born with. you probably be a little I'm bit sure. more empathetic to the situation I'm, that you have it, as, but it's still going to be a hard as, no. Absolutely. You know, right. like, damn, that, yeah. that's that's messed up. You yeah, know, yeah, how you yeah, contracted yeah, yeah. this. So, Even if they yeah. taught you safe ways to have, because um, going through this show, we can learn that there is safe ways to have sexual intercourse with your okay. partner. Right. right. So, so, so again, again, her being born with it versus her being, her contracting it versus, you know, yeah. in life. Yeah. She could know all of the knowledge that she could, and you know the safety measures and all of that. Like it still wouldn't make a difference to me. Yeah, because you okay. don't want to run the risk. I'm not gonna, whatever yeah. the risk is. <laughs> exactly. And I right. understand. I mean, yeah. I definitely agree with you. Yeah. So there, you know, they, make a difference. so they have like groups and shit. I like I was doing my research. Mm-hmm. Like they got groups and like websites Correct. that you can go to and like everybody whoever has this particular uh-huh. whatever you can find you can somebody else that has them. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To, to, so so you all can live this normal existence mm-hmm. because both of you have the same thing that you can't fucking get rid of wow <laughs> So let I mean, me, I I mean it like makes that. sense. Yeah, it makes sense because, like, who the fuck really honestly? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, for real. Mm-hmm. Come to me. like Willingly. Like, we we right. having a That's moment, the... and, and it's like getting, shit getting ready to pop and shit. Right. And be like, babe, girl, I got HIV. Oh, huh? That's the best option for them is to go you to a, 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 a color joint right. club. Right. Now we need hours to real pause. Quick. Join we need the to website. have some conversations. Mm-hmm. Not saying that, you know. I'm judging you, but like, okay, with that information, now I need to reframe my thinking. And I need to address this from a different perspective now. Not to say that something's wrong with you or you're just a bad person, but it's to suggest that, you know, it's self-interest, self-protection. I have to make sure my best interest is, is, it, is in place before I'm worrying about hurting your feelings. So let me ask you this. Oh, go, go ahead, Penelope. Now. I was just going to read Sean Gibson's comment. Mm. Sean said that, and they also have prep, so the disease is undetectable. This is true as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. Correct. Yeah. yeah, so they got these. Okay, and I, I don't I don't even want to get into it. I'm going to wait till we yeah. get to Nurse Robin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Nurse Robin and Nurse can Robin. talk to us about the asymptom, asymptomatic mm-hmm. and the lying dormant and all that type of shit to where the nigga don't even know he got something to say he got something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right? So before we get into all of that, Penelope, talk to us about the importance of testing, pre-testing yes. before sexual involvement yes pre-testing so the importance of screening um for one it's the only way to know if you have something or not the only way to know or to not know is to go and get tested um and i say this because we all know and some of us may not know that but all diseases they don't have symptoms Mm -hmm. and um or the symptoms don't affect uh me as it would you Mm -hmm. because everybody's body is different so the best way to know or not know for one is to get tested so that's very important um and outside of that you know we're all grown we all should be practicing good bill of health and getting checks up checkups done regularly um especially if you're sexually active yeah that's my next point especially if you are sexually active because um getting tested it makes you feel confident and the person that you you're sleeping with Mm -hmm. i'm clean you're clean it's like a a boost of confidence all right Mm -hmm. nothing to worry about here Mm -hmm. um it minimizes the chances of long-term risks Mm -hmm. so you know, people, I don't care how big or small the STD may be, chlamydia, gonorrhea, whatever, even the ones that are curable, if you mm-hmm. don't go and get the proper treatment, you know, in the long run, they can cause severe damage. Um, health, other health risks. Other health risks Heart like problems. infertility, mm-hmm. um, 
you don't get that done, may not, it's a risk of you not having children. Yeah. May not be able to carry children. Like Max said, heart risk, that's also um, another big one. Cancer is another one. And death. Yeah. Death. Um, so, and then I looked up some positive things to getting STD results. You know your bill of health. Like I said before, it's always good feeling confident, especially if you are a person who has a number of sexual partners and you're a casual sleeper. Um, you want to know your status. If you do test positive, the first thing, you should notify all parties. That should be the first thing. Contact a doctor for treatment uh, for that course. Like I said before, some STDs are curably, are curable, and normally they require a prescription, and then you just follow up with your, you know, your regular doctor. Mm -hmm. And then you got some that aren't curable, and they require, you know, more of long treatment, long care treatment, long term treatment. So that's what we're talking about. Um, let's normalize these conversations. Because if we normalize them, then it can minimize a lot. We talk about everything underneath the sun when we get into the relationship. What's your favorite color? Right. <laughs> what, what you like to eat? What, what you, you like, like to drink? drink. Uh, where, where you hang out at? You like floods or what's your or patio? You know, what, what, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you and your baby mama still mess around. You, you know, know it's, it's everything Bitch. under the sun, but. When the last time you been in the one of the cannabis? most <laughs> the most it. vital <laughs> conversations that yeah. need to be had is your screening. So yeah. I wanted yeah. to tap into tap into this. Okay. I'm with Rita. I am one of those people who my shit is on my phone. My chart. Mm -hmm. Right there. All day. Why don't we do that? Why don't we, you know, and I don't care if it's long term or you about to on some one night stand stuff. We can absolutely exactly. be exactly. feeling each other and about to hit the room and be like, hey, pull up that march chart real quick. We actually can do that on the way there. Yes. In the car. Absolutely. But you know what? Guilty motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty motherfuckers right. that kill the whole mood. They're like, damn, babe. Why we got to do all that? Yeah. Like, I don't even want it no more. And but you that, know what? If you get to hit it hard why that we got to do that exactly that's all i was to say if they, yeah. if they take that means it offensively you don't give a fuck about your own guy exactly yeah, take it offensively. so you really don't give a fuck about what you about but to do give to me, me money. Yeah. Exactly. you know what i'm saying i really respect that though <laughs> You know, if somebody right. came to me, and I would, and if I or if I came to them like that, that's respected. Like this has been a conversation. Like mm -hmm. I said, the next time I'm that's on That's an some uncomfortable long, conversation it, for it, a motherfucker. They're it is uncomfortable. though, but it's okay to be uncomfortable now. Yeah, because I mean, we're yeah. getting older, yeah, yeah. and we got families yeah. and children. We want. I'd rather be uncomfortable. I'd rather be uncomfortable and sit in that uncomfortability it again, than to be walking dead. around here yeah. with some shit I can't get rid of. Then be unsafe. Yeah, exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Like, if we can't, if we at this age, exactly. and I think the minimum age, I don't know you, but I mean, we all grown. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Right? The minimum age, whatever it is, we all care about our longevity. Exactly. Right? And what type of person we are care you about, not to care we about ain't, the person We ain't decrepit with. to where we no longer sexually active, yeah. right? And so we got to care about that cavity. Yes, yes. ma'am. We got to care about the wellness of it. Because it, the last person ain't going to be the last person, right? Exactly. And so you got to be careful about what you transfer to this the next person. This reason right here alone is the very reason why a lot of people are still single. Mm -hmm. What's that? And as people people, won't get, exactly. people don't yeah. want to get tested. Yeah. Why people, you know, well, I hear a lot of people, including myself, I Bitch, don't you know you got sores on your shit. You know something wrong. Like, come it, on, where the sores come oh, from? It, like, stop exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. And, no, it's a hair bump. And no, men, bitch, men, men don't get up. What's on your shit? What's on your shit? Men don't get symptoms <laughs> like we do. I want to know what's on your shit. Symptoms got a for y'all don't bum come bum. like it come for us. Well, that's on your lip, but... More so for the men, um, right. and we can ask that's our 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 end that's here. A lot of times, it's like they they, they determine they, they feel their 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 um immune, symptoms immune, through yeah. their urinating yeah. process. Oh, right? Or as Fat Joe said, yeah. hurt like I'm pissing, but yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never forget that. Word. What did he say? But hurt like I'm pissing, like but yes. right? It does. Though, that's right? what me and uh, Penelope was talking about. Yeah. Kind of HPV is on yeah. the rise, and yeah. Yeah. a lot of men do not know that they are carriers. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to step on your time. No, yeah. you good. I was yeah. thinking about what you yeah. just said. HPV, and yeah. 
And yeah. if women go get their regularly pap smear and get all the tests, the doctor will be able to identify if they do and end up getting a colposcopy, take a piece of tissue and sample. All of this is communication, like with everything else in our community. As well as we communicate about eating better, we have to communicate mm-hmm. about our health. We have to take care of our temple. Even myself, it's things that I have to do to con- as I'm getting older. Yes. Now that I'm about to hit 40, not going to look, whew, but I have to start taking care of my temple and we need to have these uncomfortable conversations and other communities and other uh, ethnicities. They always are open about things. We are so closed and private and don't want to share these things. We need to each one teach one to help each other. Absolutely. Yeah. Go to the so doctor. Let me read this yeah. comment uh, by Keisha. Keisha. Angel. 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 She yeah. said, I work in the medical field too. And I, I do a lot of callbacks for positive STDs. And it's said that once they're treated, some are back within 90 days for the same thing. Wow. Wow. So it shows they aren't practicing safe sex. It's kind of like, okay, if it's curable, right. if I get the same thing. But nigga, you might get that. some shit you can't fucking yeah. get rid of wow. the next time. That's before. careless. That's very so careless. So point, either you, okay, you got treated, it's no longer there, so you can go out here and be frivolous again. And you know what? And not only that, I I forgot to say this. Mm -hmm. This, I did say the infertility thing. Like, for the women who want to have kids, you're not taking care of yourself and you're not getting treated and you're not caring about going to get screened and stuff. When you get older, you're going to want a family. You're going to have some kids and you're not going to be able to bear these kids. But that goes for the men too because they're going to be sterile and going to be shooting blanks and they're going to be able to produce as well. yeah. I mean, because a lot of these, in, in RN, Rita Robin can tell us, a lot of these STDs, the consequence for women is infertility. Yep, infertility, right? the same thing with men. Like he said, yeah. sterile, it ain't going to be able to do nothing. Cancer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, before stepping on him, like he said, even though some are incurable, there are some that are curable. But like she said, that don't mean turn around and get another 90-day call exactly. back. Right. said, I want the medicine, you know. But I'm going to let Mr. Birdman go and touch on that. Nah, you good. You listen. I'm letting you handle it today. I listen. I just I, you the doctor. I just stayed out of holiday. Oh, no, I'm not a doctor. So I, ain't, I ain't pay for that, but I'm not a doctor. <laughs> All I'm saying is we need to practice safe sex. Exactly. We need to stop just running in somebody and falling into our feelings. We need to think about our own livelihood and our longevity. And what happens when we lay down them sheets? Just even on your previous podcast, we're talking about having babies. There right. are exactly. life and death things that happen just laying down. HIV, which mm. is the main mm-hmm. one, but you get you could get syphilis, gonorrhea, mm-hmm. trichomonas, mm-hmm. chlamydia, herpes in different forms. There's four different hepatitis. types, four different yes. types of uh, herpes, hepatitis, and these things are not incurable sometimes. Mm. And we have to love our temple, as my husband's cousins like to call our temple. This is our temple. Exactly. If we don't love our temple, who's gonna take care of our temple? So let me ask you a question, Iran Rita. Um, how does a STD have to destroy or ruin the potential of a potential possible relationship? And if so, why? If not, what are the steps that people can take to make sure they're safe in that situation? Well, the first step is to get tested. Second step is to go see your doctor, come up with a solution. Mm -hmm. If I was you, I would ask yourself, how did my partner get it? Mm -hmm. Did he get it by cheating? He or she get it by cheating? Mm -hmm. Did he or she was, they were they born with it? And if you want to end the relationship, that's fine. But if you want to continue Mm -hmm. the relationship, there are safe ways Mm -hmm. to practice safe sex within your relationship. Now, depending on the virus, because I didn't do all the research. Mm -hmm. I specialize in neurology, but I had to do my study to keep up with Truth Podcast. (laughs) (laughs) But there are certain areas that you can pick up certain things to practice safe sex. Certain things. And it just depends on the virus and what it is. Mm -hmm. Each one is not the same. Right. Rita, can you tell us, um, can you educate people for those who don't know what HPV is? Because... Because it's not really mentioned like the chlamydia and all of that. It's a humalonum papillonum virus. It's transferred from sexual activity. Uh, Mainly men are carriers and they pass it to women because men don't have a lot of symptoms through their uh, uh, private area penis. Mm -hmm. 
and it comes in a women, but when it gets to the women, it comes in a form, of potential form of cancer. Mm. Oh, wow. And so when with our women, our uh, OBGYN appointments once a year is very, very important. Because not only are we getting tested for uh, the basic STDs, we're also, they do a swab of our skin cells to see do we have cancer. Mm -hmm. And if so, you go get us another procedure called a colonoscopy colon manos well uh, i'm twisting my words colonoscopy mm -hmm. where they take a piece of your skin test it put some different dyes over it to see are you do you have cancer mm -hmm. um i just think with these things that is not talked about enough and i do think as well as breast cancer and any other cancers and things going on we need to have open conversation the more we have open conversations the more we're aware the more we're not uh reckless with our body and just sleeping with anybody getting caught up in our feelings we can prevent a lot of these things that's going on and i also don't think that it's a conversation that should you know be waited until that moment comes where y'all in the heat of like no this probably it's one of them conversations if we are dating dinner, yep, like, if we're dating and we're talking and we feel like this thing is progressing color. you mm. know you know off bell if at you least, feel like you're going to be intimate with a person it doesn't well, take that long have so you exactly. ever had one you're right which one was it you still got it <laughs> <laughs> And you know what, D-Man? I think it goes into more of... Um, but why are we so scared? Like, we just want to... So, when we start these relationships or, or situationships, everything just has to be so flowery, and we just want to make a good impression. But fuck making a good impression, right. nigga. Let's Save keep your it goddamn real. life. Yeah, let's right. get to the nitty-gritty. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. fuck all the flowery-ass, conversational-ass bullshit that don't mean shit at the end of the day because the shit change uh -huh. over time. You know what I'm saying? Because it's superficial. Uh-huh. Because bitch. how are you marrying people without this stuff? Come on, Like, now, now that's what I don't get either. Now. How are you marrying a person and, 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 and not let knowing me say that? This, let me mm. say this, and I'm sure um, Nurse Reader will agree with me that, like, even, like, let's say uh, Penelope and Dave was in a relationship, <laughs> right? Y'all married. And you find out on your next gynecological exam after the wedding that he gave you some shit that he didn't even know he had, that laid dormant, didn't was asymptomatic for years. Mm -hmm. But you're thinking because y'all married, he gave you this shit recently. And that I'm fucking right? around. And that he's exactly. fucking around. And this some shit that has lied dormant and asymptomatic in him for years to where he didn't even know. Right. And, and so it can really ruin you. Yeah. motherfucking relationships if people are not educated on the exactly. background of whatever that STI uh -huh. or STD exactly. is. Okay. Yeah. Right? But I think it goes back into like how we was talking last month, D-Mac, about grown and gone. This is something mm -hmm. that we need to talk about. Like how we credit score health everything like that yeah. so we gotta now especially as a parent and i have a unfortunately i have a daughter that's about to be 13 my son is 22 i feel like now just from this i need to make sure i'm having this conversation yep. with them as well because yeah, it'd be absolutely. so heartbreaking for them to go out experiencing with them little cells and then bow the first time they got some stuff that, that yeah. daddy yeah, <laughs> I know that is I one conversation I'm fearing. I think this piggyback you know off saying? your uh, <clears throat> topic of red flags. Like, I mean, start asking about my charts and your health. If I <laughs> ask you that, and that shit is offensive yeah. to you, <laughs> or you go, or, or, or you make you go, oh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm good because yeah. 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 now. Yeah. Because let's no, be truthful. Let, at this age, I think you should know where you stand. Let's be yeah. truthful, y'all. A climax only lasts attention. fifty seconds to a minute. I mean, the foreplay and all that stuff shit, is longer. You can longer, do that but, shit for your goddamn yes, self. For for so how about we don't want to ruin our lives for you sixty seconds. You can't care about yeah. me if you don't care about you. Absolutely, that is true. You can't. So and you unfortunately, you got people out here to, like that that don't care. I ain't been to the doctor yeah. in 20 years, nearby. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Mm -hmm. So to, uh, to y'all viewers, I gave you a little secret. Ask about a my chart. That's yes. the first clue just to see. You have you been even, been, have you even been to years? a doctor? How many partners have you had between then and now? I didn't know this. Um, who, I need to know. Who's married y'all on the table? Just you, Bourbon? What? Are you the only married person? Because yes. Because this is the second comment I've seen. So back in the day, you used to have to get tested? They say you used to have to mm. test before you got married. Well, you, oh, you wow. Married, they Y'all don't recently. do nothing we got like married, that no We got married in 2000. Take a class. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. 2000 yeah. something. So back okay. in the day, though. They well, I didn't know that. that. I didn't that know that either. That, the, see, that was back when Herman Kiefer was alive. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah
HIPAA <laughs> took over. HIPAA <laughs> took over. So you can no longer release people's medical yeah. diagnoses exactly. and information to the general public. Well, that's gotcha. I didn't know they stopped that from being married. I didn't know you had to do that before being married. I knew yeah, the HIPAA law took that out. And but, they yeah, but, take a but, yeah, the HIPAA no, law took yeah. out, but I, they was need no to have privacy that. They and do. information before oh, okay. HIPAA. That's but right. I think with right. me and my wife, we had the conversation because when I first started dating my I was a hoe before I started dating my wife. I'll really, let them know back, that right back now. Back in Herman Kiefer days, you didn't even have to have you a conversation. You took me back with Herman you Kiefer. Call oh, yes. my God. With some name and some information and find out what a motherfucker had because there was no protection. She took it back. Yeah. Penelope Ooh. with Herman mm-hmm. Kiefer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody that had a VD or an STD was registered at Herman Kiefer. That's why that information was fucking public. Listen, that's why you had to let people know, look, I'm just going down here to get my food handlers card. <laughs> if you were seen at Herman Kiefer, everybody assumed you yeah, had that shit. Yeah. You know? yeah. You, yeah. Had that shit. Look, you, know? you could be at the bus stop in front of that bitch going home and everybody <laughs> believed you had some Something kind there. of shit. Yeah. Well, that, they need to bring that back since you definitely couldn't get married without testing. They that, definitely that, that, that would be a. But that's a violation of yeah. the medical yeah. protection oh. law, HIPAA. The, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you can't. I mean, you can't. You can't. But that's up to you to be responsible for. Oh, that's why that's, that's, that, that makes it up to you. When you get a, you you get a positive STD result now, they call you personally and let you know mm-hmm. and leave it up to you to inform. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Because they have to. They can't share that information mm-hmm. anymore. Oh, everybody. Listen, listen to this, y'all. True yeah. story. I knew a girl, and she called me up on the phone one day. Nobody has ever told me nothing like this. And she said that she was cleaning her house. Mm -hmm. And I guess she had, she used to keep her shoes, like, you know, you got stairs to keep your shoes or whatever. So Mm -hmm. she cleaning the house and she's stacking her man and her shoes. Mm -hmm. And inside the shoe is a pill bottle. Oh, shit. Uh She gets this pill bottle and it's this medication. Mm -hmm. And she don't know what the medication is, so she turned to Google. And she Googled the medication. Mm -hmm. And it is the... um, For sexually transmitted... But it's the somebody had it in the comments. It's AIDS medicine. It's AIDS the the prep. detector. I think I don't prep. 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 Yeah. yeah. Prep is all right. Somebody just told me that at work tonight. I was like, oh, I never knew about this. Oh wow. And yeah. so um, it's called what? No? Prep. 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 Prep for what? You could take it if you're. That's what the medication is called. That has yeah. HIV. Oh, you so yeah. You prep that, so that's you. a preparation for you to possibly fight against the virus yeah, yeah. Yeah. that you might catch from yeah, having I'm, intimacy with it's yeah. something like that I don't know yeah. like don't mark my words yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's what Sean is saying I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, get, I didn't get that part of my research I said I never heard of this so Lord, she found this medication or whatever and right. so she, she 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 telling me and I'm like what you know I'm completely stunned mm. so she confronts him mm-hmm. and he says that's my partner medicine. Uh, he whatever story it was, I don't know how he got the. Oh, mm-hmm. he he was holding it for his partner. I don't know if his homeboy, you know, okay. his friend didn't want his oh, family okay. to find it or okay. whatever like that. That's what I mean by partner, like like my partner, like. My okay, partner. I got. I was like, wait a minute, so he got a partner. Oh, that's your so when when she <laughs> tells me this, I'm like, girl, I'm like, hell no, I'm like hell no, I'm like I don't believe it, no fly zone because why why would he. Take the chances of you finding it like now mm-hmm. and thinking it, you know what I'm saying, yeah. that it's his. So they go to the health department. They go get tested at the book, whatever, whatever. And they go in separately. And he, she come out with her paper. And her paper, you know, she get tested for everything and it's negative. And then he come out. And he positive. With his paper. No, he come out, but he don't have no paper. Mm-hmm. It was something like that. Like, he didn't have the paper that he had. And she was, I guess he told her, like, you know, I'm, I'm good. Long story short, I don't know where old girl at. Don't know how the hell the story ended. Mm. But that was real life. She straight yeah. up called and told me like I was cleaning the crib and in his shoes. I found a pill bottle. So my well, question see, that's, is. That's, that's the thing. That's, has, the, has, the, has the opportunity to have the conversation ever arise. And mm. like even if, if he doesn't bring it the, up, which would be his responsibility. Because once you know, mm-hmm. it, it is legally a crime. Yeah, it is. If you know yep. and it has been yep. reported to it you is. and you have not disclosed and intentionally infected somebody else, it's a fucking crime. Because that's like attempted murder, right? Well, no, because mm-hmm. all STDs are not yeah. under death. Well, I mean, if it was like AIDS or something. It's then just it's what the actual charge is, but it's not murder. It's not attempted murder. No. murder. Um, but it is a crime to... 
knowingly infect another yeah. person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you have to have these conversations. People that got them, I mean, like, I know it's embarrassing, it's shameful, it's whatever it is. But it is your responsibility to let whatever potential sexual partner you have know what they're dealing with. Give them the right to make mm-hmm. a well-informed fucking decision. Yep. Cause like you and said, if it's, it's not you, then they ain't here. for you. You're going to find your match. Maybe you could find a group. You yeah. know, like there are groups out here. I was looking. I was like, God damn. When I was doing the research for that, I'm like, damn. Like these people are like in groups and looking for each other. Like we what all got herpes. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Because okay, I didn't. I didn't even. I, did, I brought my laptop because I didn't feel like right now. Oh, you. Oh, I got you. <laughs> but it worked. It was like you know it what was I'm saying. Like, damn, so if y'all all got that shit and ain't nobody worried about it, you know what I'm <laughs> you saying. You know what? And you and I'm hey, telling it's you, it's a happy community. But that's you like, can't deceive people and. Deception is not just intentional; it's by omission. If I if I don't tell you I have HIV, hmm. or if you don't tell me you have AIDS, wow. and so, right now it looks you look normal as fuck and asymptomatic as fuck, and I just go freely willy nilly, mm-hmm. and then now I got the shit. That's a fucking crime if yes. you knew. Wait, actually, I just looked this up, D Mac, because after you had said that. They said, with regards to consent, there is no legal requirement that a person must inform their partner that they have an STI. What? I just said, that's an STI. That's the difference. Okay. I'm not talking about STI. Because that's an infection. I'm talking about okay. STDs. Okay. There's okay. only four exactly. STDs that are curable. The exactly. rest right. of them are treatable. So it does say here, a misdemeanor convict, it says... In most states, transmitting an STD can be categorized as either a felony Absolutely. or misdemeanor offense. Depending on the gravity of the risk of that STD. But also, you have to keep track of who you lay with, too. So you go back you and trace do. the stuff. You I mean, can't be and just out here freely. Be promiscuous. Exactly. Right, because who do you notify if you've been with... <laughs> Hey, let me just go through the black book real quick. Hey, 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 hey nigga, go get checked. Hey, nigga, go get checked. Hey, nigga, go get checked. Your research is the way to keep down the STD is to have one partner. That is true, Mike. But you know, in real life, nobody really has one partner. Hold on. I'm gonna keep it real. I if I break up with my partner, partner that I'm with, I swear to God, it's gonna be so hard to, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's not true. This yeah. is it's it's, 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 it's wild out here. People are doing mm. a lot of things. There's it's a lot of undercover the stuff going on. Yeah, it's a lot of people not right. being truthful who they are. I mean, I'm, it's yeah. just a lot. Yeah. That's scary. LaJoya says she knows a man who was prosecuted for spreading HIV. Yeah. Good. But it's a lot of niggas. Okay. All you got to do is put she that shit on YouTube stuff. or Google. You gonna come up with a lot of says HIV is a crime. What did you get a picture of, Mike? I got a picture from someone who works in the uh, medical field who oh, does shit. callbacks as well, right? And she just sent me a, a stack of papers of all of the positive callbacks that she has to uh, make since January. Wow. Mm-hmm. Right? Wow. So look at this right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this just came through. It just came through. Okay. Right? Hmm. See if what is that? These it's are the callbacks. It's all the callbacks. Oh, wow. Positive. Positive. Yeah. Positive yeah. callbacks. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Man. I don't so see that much paperwork at work. The top 10 sexually transmitted diseases. Hold that's up. Where is that? I think I got it right there. No, it's right here. Top 10. That's all The first one. Genital warts. Yep. Um, yep. HPV. Right? Mm-hmm. The second one. Lice. Pubic lice. Lice? Pubic lice. Yeah. Crab. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crab. Yeah. 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 Crab. Yeah. Crab. So you see that person scratching oh. too hard. That's the, a crab. The, it, the itchy bun. The itchy, itchy, itchy bun. The itchy bun. Scabies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's Stream so yeah, itching is. that is yeah. worse at night. I don't I know bet why it I is. Gonorrhea, the, the clap. Right. Y'all remember that movie with Denzel when that lady uh, fucked him up when he was in the pool and shit and he had to tell his wife he had to clap? No, I ain't know that. Oh, oh wow. Ricochet, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ricochet. Oh, I Ricochet. Yeah. Ricochet. Yeah. 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 That was nigga, a good movie. Yeah. He was Jake burning. Styles, I remember that. You're yeah. burning. Yeah. That, for the men, you're burning. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. But uh, syphilis. Mm-hmm. Chlamydia, which mm-hmm. is one of the curable ones. Uh, 
Herpes. Mm. Oral herpes. Oral herpes. Mm. Those are the non-curable ones. You get diagnosed with herpes, nigga. You start got, telling you, everybody you got you it got before you, it. before you, d- 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 what you like? I just want to let you know I got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Herpes. herpes. <laughs> and, and for tell, people who smoke people behind say, everybody, right? man, smokers. And, and, and there are definitely different avenues that mm-hmm. you can get STDs from. Yeah, definitely sexual activity, right? Mm-hmm. Exchange gotcha. of bodily fluids and all that type of yep, the vaginal kissing. cavity mm-hmm. through childbirth and all that type of shit. I love my little notebook because I just, the little chicken scratch I wrote, I just didn't really care. You're doing good with the computer. But, um, yeah, hepatitis B, HIV AIDS. HIV AIDS used to be number one back in the uh, 80s, yeah. 80s yeah. and 90s, right? Yeah. Yeah. It sure it's, did. It's, it's Bless down you. the list yeah. now. And remember, there ain't no, because no medicine. It's anymore. really not unto death anymore. Uh, they, yeah. They've now come up with concoctions that can prolong your life, and, and you and your partner can have healthy sex. Can you talk to us about that a little bit, if you know, Miss Rita? Um, I Reader, don't Reader. know the details of mm-hmm. all. The safe sex ways, but I know they have oral condoms. Mm. You know, condoms is one of the top the dental ones. dams. Yes, mm. but I don't know all of. What I don't want to give no. Dental dams. I don't want to. That's usually for women. I don't know. I don't want to give no. I don't want to give no misinformation out here. So your fluids don't come in contact with mine. Is it huge? Like it's a mouth condom. It's like a female condom. It's a mouth condom. Okay. Yeah. Like I know those condoms, but I don't know all the details. So that's mm. not my specialty, but I know the basic, you I know, that okay. I don't want to get no sure. misinformation on. So okay. let me ask you, when it comes to women, um, with the, uh, with toys, mm-hmm. not cleaning them. I'm asking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yes. so, so <laughs> yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, Ariane. Um, I say R N R R. But Ariane well, because it's bodily, bodily fluids, mm-hmm. you can get it contact the skin to skin contact depending mm-hmm. on the yeah. uh, STD yeah. or STDI. Uh-huh. You know, so it's just not having sex. You got to really know who you getting personal with. So people be mad when studs be putting condoms on the dildo. Like, no, what the I fuck mean for like because but see that's the bitch. That's, first of all, first of all, if you don't clean that bitch between bitches. It's a problem. That's, yeah, that's what, you understand what, what I'm saying. So now, why are we fluid. doing the condom? Because first of all, the virus is going to last within um, a human yeah. exchange of fluids it's longer right. than it will last on plastic. So if you clean your shit right. properly. You're not going to transfer bodily fluids from one Correct. bitch to the next. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure you're not buying just like, okay, I'm done with this deal, though. Let me go get it. Uh, let me just, uh, no, as soon as we finish, let me just put it in the closet. Like it's disposable. Huh? And never be wash it before. Yeah. She said bitch. private toys. I thought she meant the private, man. I'm no. like, what? Well, but no, yeah, I you mean, need okay. to change your tool. That's what yeah, threw me off. She threw I, me for a loop. My bad. I was like, I just thought about it. When you said female condom, I'm like, So wait, you said you need to change your toy or just set it? Oh, you need to sanitize when she yes, asked sanitize. me. I was I ain't thinking of in a privately manner. That's what I'm saying. I know. I know girls. <laughs> I know like, girls Tom is out, Tom I'm out, Tom out, Tom out, Tom Unless it's disposable. You're not going, you're not going to speed bump. Mine has some disposable. I can't change right. your shit. A pack of disposable. Yeah. From the last nigga Disposable what? Disposable dicks. Toy. Is yeah, that yeah, what you do? Yeah, and then when you no, do I'm it, saying, but know. you should. That's personal. It, it's still yeah. bodily we fluids. Don't you should still sanitize them, get disposable by how many you need to change them. I mean, it's just like. Sleeping behind somebody else. That Unless you're with the same partner, but like, then that's different. Okay, but y'all Wait, asked me. Hold up. Uh, what you say, man? I'm saying y'all asked me to 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 chat to make sure that I did my research do on your safe thing, sex Mike. with right, this. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah, we want to hear from Mike. Hold up, we had an agenda. Do thing, so everybody boy. know. The use of the male latex condom is highly effective in reducing STD transmission. It okay. is. You use a female condom. It's likely that it could break more often, and it could transfer something. Tell so us. the most, the best, the best effective way to reduce a transmission is a male condom, mm-hmm. as well as having less than one partner. 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 Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. There you go. Amen. Come on, Mike. Yeah, thank you, Mike. All right, brother Mike. Mike. Brother Mike. Any other? Any others? Hmm. Because the way you came off, I was. Yeah, I thought you were about to keep going. Well, if, <laughs> if, if, you, if you have any allergies, mm-hmm. then synthetic non latex condoms can be used. Okay. But they're they're highly breakable. Mm. Mm. So you don't. I mean, they're highly breakable. So you really don't. You want to use a male condom because it's 
harder to break and it's the most effective way not to transmit something <clears throat> when you are doing what you do. Question. What about those is it thirty dollar for comments? women or is it easier for women or men to trans to to contract sexually transmitted I don't, disease? Me, I don't know which would it be easier because it's fluid. Mm -hmm. It's so I don't you know it does have a lot to do with your immune system, how weak your immune system mm -hmm. is, how strong your immune system are. You um, have pre other illnesses going on to make your immune system weak. So only thing I know as a bait, you know, basically, like I said, OBGYN is in my specialty. Neurology is my specialty. As far as being a nurse, I work in the neurology department. Mm -hmm. But what I do know, basic touch, just touching the surface is bodily fluids, not having a bunch of different partners, uh, keeping up with a my chart, talking to your doctor, and what Penelope started with, getting tested regularly. Now, if you want to be a, excuse me, I know we cussed on him, be a hoe, be promiscuous, you need to get tested on a regular yeah, basis. Regular be a clean I'm not, all right, I'm not you here to tell, clean, huh? I'm yeah, not here to tell home. you not to be one, I'm not here <laughs> to tell you can't, shouldn't do that, but if you're going to be one, you need to protect yourself, and Amen. if you want to live longer, protect your temple, be here for your family and your children. So we have yet to open up the phone lines. We got 10 minutes left. If anybody want to call in, tell us their horror story, tell oh, us their oh, success we story. We definitely would love to hear. 313 I think. 313 yep, In the meantime, Dave is about to read this uh, post from Barcelona. Yes. So she said, my family member got pregnant by her boyfriend of four years. She was seven and a half months pregnant and her boyfriend fell out and lost all functions of his urine and bowels. The doctor told him that he had AIDS and was infected. Wait, no, hold on, let me. Wow. And was infected for over 10 years. Mm. He played it off like he didn't know, but that MF -er knew. Mm. Wow. Wow. So he knew he had it before he, he married team? her. Yeah. Hey, Ebony Smalley. She Damn. was seven point five wow. months. And didn't find out until he mm -hmm. fell out. So he wasn't even gonna tell her. So Bossalina, did she contract it? Yeah, that's why I wanted to find out as well. Yeah, that's why I, mean, I want to know. Did she contract it? Maybe the kids. And if you want to call in, Bossalina, we only got a few minutes, but we would love to hear from you. Please. She died two weeks later. She Lord what? Jesus. Oh, wow. She just put it in the comments. Oh, she yeah, died she did. AIDS no, he no, he died. He died. died. I'm sorry. He oh, died two he weeks died. later. I'm sorry. He so died. He, God, so he she probably pregnant, lived right? 10 years with that yeah, disease. she was pregnant No by treatment. Him. Not telling. But he, how did she know he knew? Hot. Bossalina call in. Yeah, yeah, Put the yeah, number out there. She just, she said Who that, knows? When she said that motherfucker. Oh, there she go. What's going on, caller? Who it is? Where you calling from? This Bossalina. What's happening? Hey, what's happening? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So, he just got sick. Just like Easy e Like, in real life, he fell out. They took him to the doctor. They said that he had the shit for 10 plus years. But the killer is his homeboy had called her. And I was there. And she put him on speaker. And he said, what did he tell you? So she told him he didn't know. And he was like, well, I got tested five years ago. And I found out I had it then. But she wouldn't reiterate on it. And I kept telling her, I'm like, he trying to tell you something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he trying to tell you something. Wow. But the motherfucker died. He died the, uh, by the, the day they told him, and within 24 hours, he was, like, in a coma. He never woke up again. Yeah, so, I, I don't know if he, he had like, like, symptoms. Like, was, was, he looked, was he, like, just normal all the way up until this day? Was Well, I'm a CNA. I've been in healthcare for 25 years. The motherfucker looked like he had something. His, his skin was very ashy and, like, pilly. His hair was funny. Um, he just looked really weird, the corners of his mouth. And we used to always say something to her because she was together and he was bringing her down, but she wouldn't listen. And every time we would see him, my mother would say, that motherfucker about to die. Mm. Like, <laughs> and he really did. Wow. She kept saying it. He really did. But as far as my cousin, mm -hmm. I don't know if my cousin had, she don't fuck with me because I told her. I'm like, he knew it. I'm like, who don't have to go to the doctor for something? I mean, like, something. Man, he knew right. it. So. And, and, and the way you describe yeah. him, the way he looked, yeah. man, why wouldn't you go? You got to get blood like, or If you something? look like yeah. you're sick and shit, like. But that's what D-Man well, talking I'ma about. Well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. She a big girl. Mm -hmm. 
she a big girl and and guys never really like tried to talk to her so, she ain't so when believe. he she ain't met her believe she didn't want to believe it and not only did she not want to believe it that was the first man to tell her she was beautiful oh, right wow. so she just believed every fucking thing he said and then up until his death like but i heard his friends say uh-uh that's not true because i found out five years ago and wow, i'm like yo what wow. the fuck and what you and him and you know what like we can't really leave it up to one partner or the other right because the person that has yeah. the information really has the power right yeah. Absolutely. but the person that cares about their own health care and safety right i don't give a fuck right. this person never bring it up i'm gonna need you to bring it up because <sighs> There are a class of people who are bitter about what they have. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they are mm-hmm. deliberate they about doing it. spewing yep. it and giving yep. it to other people. Misery loves somebody, company. Yep. Somebody yep. unbeknownst to them gave it to them. Mm-hmm. And so they're angry. You right, be mad. And who are they going to mm-hmm. spew back mm-hmm. to? You can't give it to the nigga that gave it to you. He already got it. Yeah, I ain't got it. You can't mm-hmm. give it back to him. Mm-hmm. Right. So, Boss mm-hmm. Alina, what about he the He definitely babies? was so on the mission to take motherfuckers out. Protect themselves. Is Each what one I'm to saying. teach one. Yeah. yeah. Is the Absolutely. baby okay? Was the- Y'all, I don't even want to tap into it. I don't think so, coming from healthcare. Mm. But like I said, he been with the baby six now. I ain't talked to him in six years. We don't fuck with each other. It's, it's like, it's nothing to say. Because she feels like I was being negative. No, I'm not being negative. I fucking love you, mm. yo. And I'm telling you, I, y'all, I, I, you know, I didn't call him in shit and told her. It, it, you know, some people just... She needed a father before she needed a boyfriend, and that's something she didn't want. I could tell from the hurting voice she was concerned about her. That's a whole other hour topic. Yeah. The absence of fathers in their daughter's lives. I think that would be a great topic. I'm about to say, you just came up with a topic. Thank you so much for calling in and sharing that with us, Boss Alina. Thank you, Boss Alina. Thank you so much. No doubt, y'all. Have a great night. Mm -hmm. Good night. All right, y'all, we got two minutes. We're going to go around the table with our final thoughts. Let's start with our special guest, Miss Rita Robin. What would you like to leave our audience with tonight? Um, food, a big food for thought, testing, and ha- making this conversation with your partner, with whoever you're dealing with, with whoever you're dating, seeing not uncomfortable mm-hmm. make this like hey did you go to the mall like hey have you been to the doctor I'm, I'm just i'm being real this true yeah. podcast yes. i'm yeah. just saying we need to have these conversations with who you're dealing with mm-hmm. for your own for your own safety and their safety mm-hmm. i mean this is not going to stop spreading as rapidly as it is until we get a control uh Absolutely. and have these conversations and check on and hey, if you had to say no, you know, you don't have a my chart, I'm gone. Like red flags, you guys do this all the time. And when you guys have your podcast, this don't be just sometimes pertaining to the topic that you guys are talking about. Mm-hmm. It pertains to other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like D-Max said, now that I mentioned, hey, when the last time you've been a doctor, somebody gets the R and mm-hmm. oh, well, that's a red, red flag. flag. Mm-hmm. So maybe I need to leave you alone. Because mm-hmm. if you don't care about yourself, you're that definitely part. not going to care Absolutely. about me. Exactly. Somebody you know said no blood, blood, no love, love y'all. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, no, no love, love no love. love. <laughs> we learned that back in 93. <laughs> what, five, five, six. Five, six. Whenever Booty Call came up. Final top, Penelope. Um, I agree. I agree so much with you, Rita. So much. And I want to say, you can't say you're an adult and you're, and you're responsible and you're not dating and sleeping responsibly. If you're not having sex, you cannot say that you're being responsible. So like I said, my final thought is I feel like we need to normalize these conversations. Uh, Don't be embarrassed. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's just about being responsible and loving on you. You cannot love on somebody else and invite them into your space until you take care of yourself first. And that is my final thought for tonight. Mike. So I, I, I'm going to totally be honest. Mm-hmm. I didn't get a my charge until like two years ago. Okay. But men are I different. Went, but though. I went and got my checkup every single year. All right. And it was that first time, I was very young. It was nothing like sitting there like, damn. <laughs> You just think about all them encounters you had. Wow. That, was a lo- that, that was a long week. Yeah. That was a long, no, you said week. That was a long day. I was like, shit. Did I really mean to do that? Like, Lord, where was you at? Where was you guiding me? So, you know, just make sure, like I said, if you, the, the best way to reduce 
transmission is having less than one partner, mm-hmm. having that mic chart up, because, oh, now, now it's on there. That little heart is on there. It's on there. It's so, on there. You, you know what I'm saying? Do what you guys have to do. If you're going to have more than one partner, just take the precautions that you need to take. It's kind of like drink, drinking and driving when you get out here and have sex and don't want to take care of yourself. That's what you're doing. You're taking a chance when you lay down with somebody. But you're not only, like a loaded gun. Yeah, you're not there only... There you go, Mr. Bird. Putting, you're not only... Putting your life in harm's way, you're putting someone else's yep. life mm-hmm. in harm's way, and we should not be doing that at this age and time. Yeah, that's right. David, uh, I'm just gonna run this down real quick. Please be safe out here because I've been looking at these stats. Chlamydia: Black females five times more likely to get it than white females. Black males six point eight times more than white males. Gonorrhea: Black Americans seven point seven times. More than white Americans, black males 8.5 times more than white males, mm. and black females 6.9 times mm. more than white females. Syphilis, black Americans 4.7 times more than white Americans. HIV, black Americans 1.7 times more than white Americans. And HIV deaths from infection, black Americans with HIV 6.5 times more than white Americans. Mm. I think what the Damn. issue is when. Magic Johnson, EZ came out with AIDS. Everybody was more fearful and concentrating on that. And now that HIV and AIDS isn't that big, everybody is out here. So please, exactly. So please, don't just think about yourself. Think about the other person as well. And that's my final thought. My final thought is everybody take care of your body. Yes, ma'am. Get regular checkups. Be transparent with any prospective sexual partner. To where there's no surprises. Um, if you got that shit, I mean, you got that shit. You got to learn how to live with that shit and navigate life through that shit. And that navigation does not require uh, deception. No, ma'am. Hmm. Right. So tell people what the fuck they're getting into and give them the right yep. to make a well-informed decision. If they say no, <laughs> they motherfucking say no. Yep. Yeah. If 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 you or you know or join one of those communities, the ACE communities is Facebook groups for everything out here. Join one of the communities, and and everybody got the same shit, and ain't nobody judging nobody. But you have to respect people's decision not to indulge or put themselves at risk, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they're not just one person; they're connected to a lot of people. Yes. So Absolutely. just be respectful. If you know you got that shit, whatever that shit is, Mm -hmm. tell a motherfucker you got it and let them decide if they want to fuck with that shit. Mm -hmm. Until then, we about this motherfucker. And we out. We out. And we we out. out. Warning. You are now tuned in to 7 Mile Radio. 7 Mile Radio. Warning. You are now tuned in to 7 Mile Radio. Yeah.